Welcome to Destination Imagination and the elementary level site for the engineering challenge in it together. Each team here today has worked hard for the past several months to prepare for this tournament. We want to extend to these teams every courtesy as they present their solution to this challenge. So we ask that you please avoid any activity that might be disruptive. We also ask that you please turn off any electronic devices such as cell phones, which may interfere with the team's presentation. Flash photography and uh, video taping is allowed in. In this uh, challenge, the team was asked to design, build, and test two or more freestanding structures that will work together to hold uh, weight. The team was also asked to present, uh, present, create and present a story about an international issue and how different nations work together to solve it. Now I'm pleased to present the Mesita Eliminators. Please, round of applause. <laughs> Team, are we ready? Yes! A praise source, can we build it? Yes, we can. You may start. It is the year 2400. The presidents of India and China have gathered in the Federal Office of China for an important meeting. Welcome, President Obama. Thank you, President for your hospitality. We have a big issue on our hands, overpopulation. Yes, that is why I have brought my trustworthy investor. This is Titus. Oh, um, hello? We've been working on an underwater community. Since 70% of the world is water, I figure we can use this for human growth to help with our issue. We hope this research will be of assistance for the problem. My research suggests that we should build a teleporter, like this one, so people can get to their homes. We should name the colony Chindia. I think that would be a great idea! But how do we get our resources? Oh, um, I have not thought of that yet. I actually have an inventor of my own. This is Ming Ling. Ming Ling. Ming Ling! Oh, um, I have been listening to your conversation and I believe that a teleporter would certainly help people get to their house. Yes, each person could have a mini teleporter so that they could get to the mainland and gather resources. We can make a tonic to help plants grow faster so we would have to gather food. I think the tonic is a wonderful idea. But how would it work? Oh, um, I forgot to do that. The chemicals in the tonic will act as a fertilizer. However, they will do the job ten times faster and they tend to more efficient. So in about three hours' time, two drops of tonic can make a plant grow three times, uh, five feet taller and three feet wider. We could construct a dispenser for the public so everyone could get the tonic and be able to grow food at a very fast pace without having to worry about any other dangers. This is the prototype. So it is all settled. We will begin construction. The world renowned doctor entered the room and suggested a bright idea. <laughs> Pure genius. 
I must say that I'm impressed. I come to her. I cannot believe I had not thought of this before. Our country would extremely benefit from this invention. Yes, indeed. My inventor surely created enough to market and improve this idea. Are you sure nothing will happen to the love citizens? I'm pretty sure no one will get hurt. We've tested it on a few creatures, and we're pretty sure it's worthy of testing it out on a human now, mate. However, the Indian inventor still had doubts about the Instagram. I understand your point of view, but I think you should replace the Instagram with a cloning device, therefore the resources would never end. The cloning device is not well developed yet. People can clone themselves and send Earth into an impending doom. And people can clone money and gold, which would send Earth into an economic downfall. My inventor is right! I agree, mate. I stand by my inventor. He's never let me down. Your inventor is mistaken. The tonic is flawless, mate. Okay, case closed. Tonic wins. Fine. Fine. So we are using a growth tonic called Instagrow, a tonic that allows people to breathe underwater called Kawabunga, and a teleportation device. I believe you have not mentioned how the teleporter works. Oh, well, you put an object to one side of the teleporter, and it teleports it to another teleport station. So all we have to do is install one in the place where a colony should be located at. So it is all set. We will begin construction in two weeks. The group came up with an agreement and will solve part of our world's problems. The project will be a success. Living in the ocean will soon exist.